happy second year everybody hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today is a very very special mukbang not that my mukbangs are not special but today is extra special because in this video i will be celebrating my second year on youtube or second year of filming mukbang so yay in the last video last mukbang i asked you guys oh do you guys want to see a whole king crab mukbang because i've never done that i did a snow crab i did a lobster but I've never done a whole king crab or not even like a piece of king crab i don't think so i really this is something i've been wanting to do for a long for a very long time ever since i started mukbang and obviously uh, i didn't because well not, it's expensive to be honest and I don't know, I just felt like I should be saving it for a very special occasion and I couldn't think of a better... Well, I guess don't <laughs> like my anniversary, fourth year anniversary of my boyfriend, but that was like, we weren't prepared for anything. And by the way, we went skydiving, so I think we're good. But <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to save the king crab for something and I don't know, I thought about doing it for Christmas or maybe next year or when, when I reach a million, if I ever will, you know? But I don't know, I just felt like doing king crab. I just really wanted a king crab and I've been really wanting to just like give my like just spend this much money as by the way this is pretty expensive um there's this place called Bob Chins and I, I think it's the only Illinois thing I'm not really sure but that's one of the uh, if you want really fresh seafood in Midwest go to Bob Chins they uh, bring in new fresh seafood every morning so it's expensive I mean you're paying for what you get but they're very fresh and uh they do sell the whole king crab uh you can get it steamed you can get it however you like i asked them to keep it oh it's like a whole piece oh well they kind of clean out the uh inside i guess but i kind of want i wanted them to keep it so i could mix it with some rice and all that oh, this is butter garlic bread i think and they gave me fries and potatoes and coleslaw butter and tartar sauce i think but this is, uh, but anyways, this is a five pounder king crab, and this is really, really big. I saw that they carry from like three, four, five, to up to nine pound king crab, and when I saw a photo of a seven pounder, I thought, oh my god, that is so big. I don't need it that big. So I was going between four and five pound, but they have five pound today because you know they bring in new king crabs every day, so they might not even carry five pounder sometimes. So I, I decided to go with the 5 pounder and when I picked that up, oh my god, I didn't even think this was mine. I'm like, okay, I didn't mind Stefan not that big. But for $200, this, they give you the whole thing. So in that way, I think, uh, of course it's cheaper some other part of the world, but being where I am, uh, $200, <laughs> it's definitely worth it. King Crab is so good. I definitely, I will always hands down pick King Crab or any kind of crab over lobster. I don't know, I'm just more of a king crab or I'm not really a lobster I like lobster but I'm not really a big fan of lobster but I'm gonna start cracking them up and start eating it with some butter, coleslaw and all that and um, through halfway I'm gonna make some ramen let's just get started yay I'm so excited where do I start? this is some coleslaw they gave me a lot of it they gave me a lot of but the this is melted butter for it's like a dipping sauce more coleslaw here they were really generous about the whole side things side dishes and i have some wipes next to me because it's very crucial to keep your hands clean i'm gonna try to eat clean as clean as possible and this their bread this is like the bread they give you in the beginning. It's so, so good. I'm so glad they gave me a lot of that. For the side dishes, you get to decide between french fries, potatoes, rice, or something like that. And I got some potatoes here. Mmm. Very plain. <laughs> very plain potatoes. And the side. French fries. Mmm. Good. And for the drink, buy some milk this. This is a refreshing milk and yogurt flavor creamy soda, basically. Mmm, I just I wasn't sure if I really wanted to do a second year anniversary mukbang because last year i did i think i 
combined the third year relationship and the first year of YouTube. I made a whole video on that. <sighs> so good. But this year, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do it. I didn't really feel like, oh my god, over two years. It wasn't, I don't know. I don't know if it's weird, but the excitement wasn't really there. But I kept thinking about it and I realized, and it kind of hit me, like out of nowhere. Wow, it's been two years on YouTube. It feels a lot longer. <laughs> I am happy and I'm glad to be where I am today, which uh, I thank you guys so much. I thank the YouTube. I thank everyone, like people around me too, just because I feel like everybody had their role. I'm just really thankful for what I have. So, yeah. So, happy thoughts today. Right? Okay. Okay, so this is like a garlic butter. Oh my god, this but this bread is like the greasiest butter la la greasiest bread ever. But mmm so good. Mm. Mm. What am I doing? So let's celebrate. Yay! Happy second year, everybody. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kimmy. Happy birthday, Kimmy YouTube. Yay! This is a raspberry macaroon. Right? Macaroon, macaron, macaroon. So, I have to make a wish though. Mm, should I wish for a million subscribers? Should I wish for a million views? <laughs> no! Oh my god, I just blew it up. Okay, I have to do it again. Do it again. Okay. Okay. Let's do this again. I really wished for something. And I hope it comes true. Okay, let's get started. I don't know if, um, if if some of you guys, I know that you guys are like a king crab experts. Especially if you guys are like from, um, and you guys probably realize that I don't have the claws. I gave it to Tong. He, Tong is my boyfriend. He came home for lunch and before I started filming, I want him to eat it. Because usually it's not like that. Sometimes there's leftovers, he eats it. But king crab, I really want him to have it first. So let's try. And obviously, I don't think I can finish this. There's no way I can finish this. And if there are leftovers, I might give it to Tong. If not, I might take it to my parents. Oh, you just have to be really careful with this because they are sharp. Oh, yeah, they gave me a lot of uh, utensils, yeah. I don't know, do you guys like these? Oh, so juicy. Prefer these. Which one do you guys prefer? Let's open this one. I need a... <laughs> Where's my fork? Oh, oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> I am so sorry I'm eating this by myself. Oh, this is kind of... It's a little cold, but it's okay. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. That was very good. <clears throat> oh, even this little small piece, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of meat in here. Mm. 
found it. It's like a small piece in here. But make sure to be really careful. It's really, really sharp. Oh my gosh, look at this piece. <gasps> no! Oh my god. Look at this piece. Mmm. 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 Oh. Heaven. This is very delicious, guys. <clears throat> oh, this is like the big piece right here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Have you seen this? I know that some people don't like have shellfish, and shrimp, crabs, blue crab, lobster, because they don't want the idea of you know peeling it or like cracking it to eat it. Like they don't like they rather not eat it if they had to go through all this. But I'm not like that. It's still worth it, you know. You know my boyfriend Tong is actually like that. He doesn't eat it unless like, so I do it for him. But he likes it when he eats it, but he usually doesn't... He's not the type of person who would do extra work for it. I guess that means that he doesn't like it that much. I don't know. But it's not just with food. It's like other things too. This is so unreal. Oh my god. This is so unreal. This is my hand. Oh, oh my god. I'm so sorry guys. This is so delicious. Mm. But it's kind of painful to eat because I've been getting a lot of canker sores. I don't know why. I think it's because I started running a lot.
compared to you know what I used to run before. You know, I might not even want rice with this because it's so... Oh, maybe I could put... Hmm... Maybe I could put the body into the ramen and like a cup, like maybe a piece of leg. This is, you know, like king crabs, it's very filling. Oh my god, the juice is so good. I can't wait to make the lemon. No, oh, I'm like barely getting anything in here. There's some in here, but. So I know that a lot of my viewers are um, around a little younger than me. I think age 18 to like 24, that's like 80% or something like 80% of you guys are 18 to 24 years old. And some of them are younger, some of them are older, some of you guys are older. But so how's school, guys? Um, I know that a lot of you guys are either in senior in high school or you guys are freshmen and you guys in, um, are in college right now. How's everything? I've been thinking, oh my gosh, I've been thinking a lot about college lately. It's just, I kind of wish, you know, when I graduated, I didn't think I would miss it at all. And I didn't. Recently, I started missing college. How easy, like not easy, I don't want to say it's so easy, it's hard, I know. And it's easier for some people, harder for some people. But it was fun. And I sort of wish that I could make the best. I could have made more out of it than I did. Does any of you guys like the meat specifically from the this area? I know some people do. Mmm. 
But yeah, if you guys are in high school or college, really make the best out of it. If there are events, go. You know, if there are sporting events, it's some kind of like holiday event, go. You might not, you know, like be you might not be the type of person who goes to that kind of thing but at least go once so that you could you at least know how it, it was like you know you don't have to like it but for me one thing that i regret is i wish i went to more of those um uh, just like you know parties <laughs> events or some kind of organ like club i miss not doing that or i kind of wish that i did that This is a very good meal. <sighs> oh. oh, goodness. Oh yeah, did I talk to you guys about skydiving? Oh yeah, well, I mean, if you watched my vlog, I guess you heard some of it. But skydiving is, it was definitely a hell of an experience. He's uh, kind of similar to going on a roller coaster. <laughs> kind of similar, you know? Because once you jump, you don't realize that you're free falling. Once you are out in the air, you know, falling from 14,000 feet, above ground you don't really well like, i guess some people do but for me i didn't really think about oh my god i'm not attached to anything i'm just literally just falling off the you know sky i didn't think that way i just was so busy trying to look trying to get most out of it like try to see what's under what's above and all that like what's what can i see the like the city and all that so i was busy doing that and before i knew it we had to pull the parachute out and then we were landing So oh my god, this this one's like holy crap. I like this sauce a lot better than the other butter one. Mmm. Tartar sauce on sauce. <clears throat> this sauce is fantastic. Have you ever heard me using that word in my mukbang? This is good. <clears throat> I kind of don't even want the rice anymore. This is just... Mm. I would try. I could try mixing it in here. But... Usually... They mix it in here because there's like juices and piled up in here, but I feel like there's no point. Maybe I could just use it as a bowl. Mm. 
I think I could cook up some ramen with this. <sighs> yeah. Um, hmm. So, oh, there's like clouds in here. Oh, okay. There's some water. I think I'll make one. Is that enough? The stuff in here, there are crabs, so. Oh, I think. Maybe a little bit more water. Okay. Today I am using chinchampong. Ooh. I'm going to put. This is more pasty. <coughs> And then a little bit of oil. Oh, a little bit of oil I'm gonna add later. Okay. Mm, what's spicy? Okay. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just add it in here. Ugh. This one makes a good ASMR. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I've been painting. I love it. I started to see, you know, I wanted to see if I like it or not. And I started, and I honestly like it a lot more than I thought I would. It's so much fun. It keeps you so busy. It keeps you calm. And it's just so, it's kind of tedious work because um, sometimes you need to put in a lot of details in your painting but I love that it's so much fun and it's so interesting how like a little bit of a different brush techniques can do like what kind of um, result you know it, it makes it's very fun guys so if you guys want to find some kind of hobby that you guys can do on a free day where it keep, it'll just keep you busy it's not too pricey i mean unless you're doing oil painting i think oil painting is pretty a lot more pricier than acrylic painting which is what i'm doing
I put this in here. Oh, this is unbelievable. Nah. Put in here. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe I could add a little bit more water. There we go. And then the chili oil. I'm gonna add it right now. Yeah, I think one will be enough. Let me get a spoon. Did they give a spoon? Nope. 